On this adventure, we head into the mountains of central Arizona and check out three locations near the Superstition Mountains. We spend two days exploring the area. On the first day, we had incredible weather. We found some amazing photographs and stumbled across some abandoned buildings. We had to check them out. Then on day two, we had much more rain and it offered some very dramatic conditions and gave us some fantastic images. What an incredible day today. I love coming out here in the deserts of central Arizona, especially when there is weather like this. Insane clouds, rain moving in and out, and the light is just continually changing. It is just fantastic. Today, we're out here by the Superstition Mountains, and the first composition I have lined up is essentially the kind of iconic storm desert shot. Off in the distance here, I have these beautiful saguaro cactuses that are being lit up from the western side. And these amazing storm clouds up above provide all of this extra drama. So very simple image. Uh, I'm zoomed in at 105 millimeters on this lens, really to get that compression to kind of make the the cactus themselves, these saguaros, stand way above the distant mountains, which are obviously way taller, but in this case, the saguaros seem to be dominant as far as the image. Simple settings, ISO 100, F11, um, excuse me, F16, just to get that depth of field, and shadow priority. Fantastic first image today. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what else transpires on this trip. I just love coming into the desert when it's rainy and these types of just irregular weather conditions. Most of the times out here, it's just blue skies. So today is a real treat because the scenery constantly changes in terms of the light, especially when the clouds part and the sun pokes through. It creates these really dynamic images and it makes for a incredible and fun day of photography because there is so much opportunity for photos. So I just love getting out here, walking around and looking for amazing photos because these are the times when most people might not want to get outside and these extreme weather conditions are that's my jam so today's a fantastic day i really hope you're enjoying the video and all of the incredible scenery that uh is taking place here because i'm having a blast so let's keep looking around find some more compositions and some beautiful scenery to go with it <music> So I found the next composition here today a fantastic just desert scene. There's this beautiful valley that flows down below here with these spectacular choya cactus that have these lit up spines. They're almost glowing, I love that. And beautiful cactus throughout that valley and this massive portion of the mountain just behind there. I think it makes for an incredible scene. The image itself, F11, I'm at about 40 millimeters focal length, ISO 100, and then again, shutter priority mode. And this image just looks fantastic with those amazing dramatic clouds up there. Today's going well, today's going very well. <laughs> Wow, 
While scanning the horizon, I saw some abandoned buildings off in the distance. I had to go check them out. As I got closer to the area, it had the feel of a visitor center or an abandoned rest stop. The buildings were well kept and there are a lot of different structures throughout the area, including a massive amphitheater. Check out these incredible hawks as they flew up and perched atop a saguaro cactus. Incredible. I hope you're enjoying today's adventure and exploring the deserts here on this incredible day. If you are, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified of future adventures here on the channel. Well, it's the second day here out with the incredible weather in the desert. And today is even more rainy and more nasty than yesterday. Yesterday seems like it was a breeze compared to, the, <coughs> compared to today, but the rain is pretty uh, relentless so far, but I'm, uh, I'm well prepared. I've got an umbrella. I've got uh, uh, plenty of time. And I'm now on the northwestern side of the superstitions, looking around kind of near the Lost Dutchman State Park. There's some fantastic mountains that have some really unique shapes, as well as tons of desert landscapes and saguaro cactus. So today we're, we're uh, trudging along in the wet desert landscape and looking for cool compositions. It's going to be a very interesting day with the insane weather, but We'll see how it goes. So far, so good. I love the drama that you get with the images out here with this type of weather. So no shortage on drama today. Fantastic photographs uh, so far. So let me show you a couple I found first thing this morning. I've actually got the tripod set up and leveled for a panoramic image. These are my settings for manual exposure, one third of a second, F16, ISO 100. And what I'm hoping to capture is these beautiful cactus along the hillside, as well as those distant mountains covered in low lying clouds and fog, and that dramatic sky up above. It's going to make for an incredible shot. Now, something like this is incredibly difficult because I am using an umbrella here to keep the camera as dry as possible, although I'm not doing a very great job. But in these extreme weather conditions, you have to protect your gear. So make sure you use the proper precautions so you don't damage any equipment getting photos like this. Um, I have to tell you though, it's worth the extra effort getting these dramatic photos. I freaking love it.
Well, the rain has let up a little bit and we've moved a little bit further northwest towards Canyon Lake and I'm on top of one of these little roadside pullouts through this amazing winding road, incredible switchbacks and incredible scenery almost all around. The only real downfall, oddly enough, is there are several power lines going through the area, but if you take your time and look around, this place has another great photo for us here. And I've got it lined up back here. There's this beautiful mountain peak that has a kind of yellow gold color to it, which is a nice contrast to the blue and white sky and the lush, lush desert below with these beautiful grasses, cactus, and the Palo Verde trees. And what I have is a vertical composition lined up with these two massive saguaros as our foreground element. And they're actually just down the hill. You might not be able to see them from your angle, but two big saguaro cactuses down there in the valley. And then that big mountain peak is our background element with those moody, misty, uh, low-lying clouds in the far distance. A fantastic photo. Um, super simple because everything is pretty far away. I'm at about 35 millimeters just to kind of compress the scene a little bit. Then I'm using F16 and ISO 100 with that shutter priority mode. Fantastic image. I love how all of these elements come together with this moody weather and the lush scenery from all of this rain. So, man, great image. Check it out. What a wet and wild couple of days out here in the desert with this incredible stormy and nasty weather. But I have to give a, you know, a uh, awareness of caution in the desert when it rains, there are a lot of dangers, uh, mud, flash floods, getting stuck. Make sure you have the proper vehicle, the proper supplies, the proper equipment and be familiar with the area and stay safe. It's always exciting to get out here and get amazing photographs with unusual conditions, but not at the risk of, uh, you know, your own safety. So keep that in mind when you're coming out here. If you are interested in more tips and tricks of desert photography, check out this video here. It has some better explanations of what to do on days with blue skies. For now, I'll see you in that next adventure.